So the technology we're talking about is wireless USB, which is a direct replacement for USB cables. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I have oh, okay, great. way too many USB devices to connect up, up to one computer or one notebook at home. Yeah, my notebooks give me two, three, four USB connectors, but I happen to have two different MP3 players, two different digital cameras, a couple printers, hard drive. By the time I get done with all of it, I've got a spaghetti's nest of wires, and I don't have a place to plug everything in. So what we're doing is we're replacing all of those wireless with all those cables, the USB cables, with wireless USB. Technology is basically the same as USB. So when I turn on my camera, whether it's wired or wireless, it basically says, bang, your camera's connected, you want to look at your photos. So it has the same user experience as USB. The other issue is it transfers at the same data rates as USB, which makes Thanks. it a very, very high-speed technology for moving around things like JPEGs, MP3s, and actually for doing any kind of streaming media or backup. So, I'll give you a couple of examples of where this might be useful. Um, one touch hard drives is a perfect example. There's a lot of these USB hard drives coming out nowadays that people are using for backup. They all have USB cables. Think about just bringing it into your room, pressing a button, and it automatically backs up your drive. Simple, easy. Think about wanting to move your printer across the room from where your PC is and not wanting to run a 15 foot USB cable from your PC to your printer. Another simple one. Think about going away on vacation. You come back and you've got a digital camera full of photos. And the best screen in your house is a 60-inch plasma sitting on the wall that's not connected to your PC. So you walk in, put your camera down on the table, turn the camera on, okay, pick up the remote control, turn on your TV. TV says, camera's in the room, want to look at your photos. Very simple ideas, but things that would replace and use USB uh, cables with wireless technology. So that's really what we're talking about. And you have a sample here today. I have a sample here today. This happens to be a uh, camera. Um, this is a technology demonstration. It's not, a, it's not an available camera. This is a Kodak V610. This Kodak V610 has been retrofitted with a wireless USB solution from Alarion. And what I've been doing all day is I've been taking photos on this particular camera and sending them over to this UMPC, which is a standard mobile PC, with a dongle attached to it. This is a standard USB adapter. This one happens to be a wireless USB adapter. Same form factor. You can buy Wi-Fi, you can buy Bluetooth, but this one happens to be wireless USB. So I've been sending photos all day from this camera basically over to here, showing people the speed and the convenience of wireless USB. With no wires, and how many how many devices can you sync up with just one? Like, just like USB, there's a host on one side and a device on the other. This is a device. This device can actually do a peer-to-peer -peer connect. So it connect, can connect up, for instance, you're using a digital video camera. A digital video camera may have a firewire, but it also may have a USB connection. Um, fundamentally, I can connect this camera up to that if they both have wireless USB. On a normal host with a dongle, it can connect the same as USB can up to 127 different devices. Practically speaking, people usually connect up 8, 9, 10 different devices. But that's still twice as many as USB ports you have on your typical notebook. Right, exactly. Exactly. So a wireless USB notebook will be able to connect up to, you know, tentatively 127 different devices. And you're going to start seeing notebooks that have this as an available option mid this year. And what they'll do is they'll have it in a mini card form factor so you can order it either with or without the mini card that is a wireless USB mini card. Starting about mid this year, you'll start to see those kinds of equipped notebooks and those kinds of options. And what about the devices? When do you expect to see wireless USB devices? You'll start to see the peripherals. Again, about mid this year, you'll start to see, I think, printers first or multifunction devices, and you'll start to see hard drives because those are the easiest and biggest things to get this integrated into. Um, devices such as cameras, it's much harder and a much larger engineering effort to get it into these. And you'll start to see these around the Christmas time, and I think the first things you'll see then will be digital still cameras, MP3 players, and cell phones. So in two to three years, potentially there could be no more USB ports. In two to three, well, I think there'll probably always be a USB port for legacy devices, but the reality will be is that most of your peripherals will be wireless USB, and just as your PC now is naturally wi you know, it started out with an external adapter for Wi-Fi, then Wi-Fi moved in, started out with an external adapter for Bluetooth, then Bluetooth moved in, it's just another radio. And by the way, the same radio that wireless USB is using will be the same radio that high-speed Bluetooth uses. So they'll be able to be on a combo card, or they'll be able to use the same radio inside a laptop. So yeah, I think you're going to see in two to three years, every every laptop is going to have a wireless USB radio naturally built into it. still think it'll have those ports because everybody doesn't switch over that fast, but yeah, you'll, they'll be equipped with it in a couple years. Thank you.